Alright, that will take care of putting the main block assembly onto the sub base. Now we're going to lift the flywheels onto it, set them in their bearings. Bring it over. Are you ready? Can you do it? And the water hopper goes on top here. And in the end, there will be a nice shiny sign that will go on the front of the water hopper right there. And then the head goes on. That way. And that would be a typical assembled engine. There are other pieces that go on it. There is a timing gear. Move. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a timing gear assembly, which also mounts the magneto. And it mounts down in here, well, the flywheel has to, it has to go on before the flywheel, but it basically mounts in there. There's a definite sequence that is needed to assemble this engine, and for fitting onto the cart, it's not necessary to have this on there. And then hand me the magneto. And because it is a spark plug engine, the magneto mounts on top of this other assembly and the little lever gets flipped by the rotating machinery of the engine at the right time and then there's a spark plug wire that comes out here this mounts in here and the spark plug wire comes around to the front to the spark plug but that's typical assembly of the engine for oiling there's a pipe that fits down in here to drip oil down onto the cylinder then an oil container goes on top but that's a typical assembly procedure for an engine fascinating Ken and Larry to see some of these engines that you worked so hard on to put together <laughs> Thank you. and it's a labor of love I'm sure you really it's, enjoyed it it's a lot of fun and we enjoy it to yes. uh, take something that is a piece of rusty metal and then make it into a machine that runs well you sure have done that and we're going to look later as we go up to uh, Mount Wilson and see a big engine that you've done and, and there's a little bit of a picture here I don't think it can be seen on our screen but that's the big Fairbanks Morse up at the Mount Wilson Observatory area, which originally powered the electric, electrical system up there. That is correct. Uh, I was very fortunate to find out about that engine in about 1996, but the conditions weren't right. And about three years ago, I volunteered with a group to work on their 60-inch telescope mechanical problem. Mm -hmm. And from that, it developed into go ahead and limit the number of people, it was limited to three people, Larry, myself, and Mike Jones, to uh, look into the big engine. It's a 50 horsepower engine, Very impressive. mounted in its original powerhouse from 1911 and 1912. It, and we were really Very impressive. And we're going to let our audience see a little bit of that in the second part of the show today. Very good. Larry, thank you again for appearing on Encore Cafe. I'm, I'm Ken. I got it backwards. <laughs> yeah, what a, let cut, me do that good. part over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ken, thank you again for thank appearing you. on Encore Cafe. And nice Larry, to be here. We've You're enjoyed welcome. the opportunity to see these engines and all the work that you've done. Thank you.